The euro has gained on world markets as talk of an EU rescue for Greece makes it less likely that Athens will default on its debt. But it has directed the attention of EU policymakers and others to the huge and very untransparent market in exotic financial products and what could be done to control it. Thousands visit Greece to view the ruins of its ancient civilization. Now the Greeks may be contemplating the ruins of their economy as the costs of hiding public debt come back to haunt them. No one seems keen to talk about how and why Greece hid the state of its finances. Now there are calls for the European Parliament to have a public hearing because people have some explaining to do. I think uh, all the parties involved in that, so that means uh, European Commission, uh, European uh, Central Bank, uh, the responsible uh, people of the, of the Eurogroup, the Greek authorities certainly, Eurostat, and why not also the banks involved in, uh, in all this. Greece wasn't the first nor the only country to take advantage of exotic financial instruments to hide a hole in its budget. So how did this one work? Greece effectively sold the future income from its lottery and airport fees in return for money now and a huge repayment later. It was 2001 and the coffers were too empty, so the deal, transforming a debt in foreign currencies at a very favourable exchange rate, allowed a flow of income into the Greek treasury. Greece had to repay, of course, but that repayment was delayed until the end of the agreed term. However, when the time comes, if there's not enough to pay it back, it'll be bad news for Greece. This particular deal is called a cross-currency swap, one of a vast range of so-called over-the-counter derivatives involving investment banks, not all of them on Wall Street, and together they form a huge and very non-transparent market. The total amount of derivatives was around 70 times, so 70 times GDP, world GDP in 2007. It has declined somewhat in response to the crisis, uh, but not much. In other words, far more money than actually exists in the world. The EU changed the rules in 2008 to prevent such deals, but given their inbuilt secrecy, how can Europe ever be certain there aren't more of them out there? There is a conviction that is for us reinforced, which is that of transparency sur l'ensemble des produits dérivés, des CDS en particulier, surtout quand ils concernent les États. Et donc c'est le sens du travail que j'ai indiqué que nous allons engager dans les prochaines semaines. It wasn't against the rules when Greece did its deal with Goldman Sachs. So does this mean that stricter regulation is needed or perhaps more investigative powers for Eurostat, the EU statistical office responsible for collating financial and other data? What we have to see is the transparency button hit. And here again, Oli Wren could start insisting, and certainly the Commission could start insisting, that we have far more clarity on this issue. And I think in the Parliament we shall be asking the same questions. US authorities are investigating the role of Goldman Sachs and others in disguising Greece's debts. Meanwhile, prosecutors in parts of Italy are looking into deals involving various banks and individuals that went badly wrong for local authorities. But the paper trail is hard to follow. With bank mergers and the trade in derivatives, a single deal can run to 30,000 pages. Banks and their customers individually agree on the terms of, of their contracts, and these individually agreed terms could be highly complicated and indeed it's very difficult to monitor these kind of uh, uh, transactions. After visits to Athens by senior EU figures, a probable rescue deal for Greece has seen the euro recover. But the aid only addresses immediate problems and depends on drastic action by Athens to cut its deficit. Greek unions have warned of chaos if austerity measures are tightened, but belt tightening pays off, as the Irish know. Fiscal discipline may have short-term drawbacks for the citizens of a member state but it could have a long-term dividend and you could be in a win situation instead of a lose-lose situation. Ireland, despite its problems, had largely regained the confidence of the market. For Greece, it'll take more than the luck of the Irish to win back financial credibility. <laughs>